hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel consider subscribing today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials in today's lesson i'm going to show you how to add remove and also move pages in adobe indesign so at the moment i have close to about 102 pages for this magazine i'm going to show you how you can add extra pages to this remove pages and also delete pages you can as well duplicate pages so without much i do let's jump right into action so in order to add pages in indesign when you open and then you launch your adobe indesign you can easily move to the pages option and then within this panel you can just right click and then insert pages you can be specific as to where you want to add a page so let's say this is page 5 and I want to add a page just after page 5 you can just move the right click on that page that's page 5 and then you go to insert pages so you see it's going to give you this pop-up and what you do is that you indicate the number of pages you want to enter or add after the fifth page that's page 5 you can actually add this before or after so you want to add this after page 5 then you do that we can add let's say just two pages just after the page number five and then one that is said you click on ok this is actually going to add two additional pages just after the page five so this is the page five you can press the number you can press the keyboard the w key on your keyboard to switch between the preview mode and the design mode so this is the fifth page and you can see at the moment i have two additional pages just after the page number five okay so if you want to just add extra page you can be specific where you want to add that page so when you right click on the page the page you want to add you can add that before or after so now let's try and then add a page before the page number five so this is page five so you go to your panel the page panel right click go to insert pages and then now you go ahead and select what before page five Okay, so remember the numbers are here and it will depend on the number of pages you have in your documents so i want to add it before page five so i just want to add one page before the page number five so click ok and then this time around you're going to add one more page before the page five okay so this is going to do that so now we see what we have this is the page number five because i added it before the page five this was the initial page five so this will be moved to page six and then the page i added will not be what the page number five so adding pages on adding pages in indesign is very simple if you are starting a new document then you can just go to file go to new and then go to a document in this case you will specify the pages you want to work with so this is the you go to print and you can specify the size of paper you want to use let's go with a5 and over here we have the pages and then start add so you can indicate that maybe you want to just get five pages or ten pages so you can just enter 10 here let's leave every other 10 defaults we have the orientation there and what we'll do is that we just go ahead and then click on what create this is going to give us five at uh, ten pages for this booklet so click on create and this is basically what a new document so you can see from my panel here the pages panel I have 10 pages here so if you scroll down these are empty pages where you can add content to later if you want to like subscribe for more of my video because i'll be doing more tutorials on indesign how to design magazine and other stuff so this is what we have and now i created this page because i want to move to the next point how to move a page okay before that let's look at how to delete a page first before we go to how to move a page and then how to duplicate a page now we added three extra pages let's see how we can delete them so over right here i've added a page before the page number five which is here empty page you can see from here if you want to delete this page just right click on this and go to a delete so it's going to delete that page so now we don't have any page before the page five again so if i go to the preview mode this is the page number five there's no page before that we also have the two additional pages we added before after the page five so you can select the hold down control select both and then right click 
and then you go toward delete so you can see delete is spread so that's two pages combined so we've been able to delete the the two together so now you see we have our pages set up so we've been able to delete we've been able to add a page and now let's see how we can move a page this is my document let's say this is page five but we have another document we are working on and then we want to move page five from this document to a separate document before that let's just save this so i'll go to power and go to a save as i want to just give it a simple name so let's say try and then i'll save this as in design document so you can see we have try those i n d d so now let's say we want to move page four and then page five to our new document and then let me use this opportunity to also show you how to number pages so at the moment the new pages i created don't have a number you can see that from the panel here but on the main page we don't have a page number so let's see how to do that from the panel page we have the a dash parents in other version you may be seeing age dash dash master is the same thing so we can add the page number from here so anything we add to the parent will apply to the rest so double click on this and then let's try and then add page numbers here and then it will reflect on the pages and this is actually going to be automatic so let's pick the type two from the two panel and then let's drag where we want to enter the page number let me just drag it down here and then let me just type page and i'll bring the pipe symbol and to get the auto number you go to type you go to insert special character go to markets and then select current page number you can press ctrl alt shift n to get that so this is going to give you a number n over the number letter a don't worry about that you can just format and resize this is okay and i will need another one for the other side so hold down alt on your keyboard and then drag this and it's actually going to give you a copy of that don't worry about how this is looking at the moment now when you move from your parent page to the main pages the page number should be sorted out so you see now we have page one page two page three page four five in order in that order up to the page 10 if you want to add additional page the number is going to be automatic so if i right click on this and then go to insert page let's say i'll add one more page after page 10 you're going to see what is going to happen so automatically this number is going to follow in that order if you delete any page out of this it's going to sort this out so let me just right click and then delete a page and then let's go back we still have 10 okay so now let's see how to move a page to another page so let's say we want to move 4 and 5 to our new page setup so let's go ahead 4 and 5 selected right click and then go to move pages click on move and then this is the option so we are trying to move page one and five to the destination we need to indicate where we are moving it to so let's say we want to move it to page one of our next document so move to so we select what the next document which is try dot i n d d so we are moving it there so if you want to delete this page from this current page after moving then you have to check that i don't want to delete them i still want to keep them so i want to check this and then now when i click on ok it's going to move these pages to the the two pages to the other document and still keep them here because i've not selected delete pages after moving so click on ok and then ignore the warning and click on ok and then let's move to our next document and see i move it to the page one here just after the page one and you can see this is a separate document which we've not done anything on we only add a page number to this and you can see we still have what two additional pages added right here okay the reason why you are seeing this formatting is that the current setup i use a5 size and the one i move yes move here is using the a4 that is why we are seeing some gap in this we can fix this if we want to actually work on this so this is how to actually add remove and you can actually duplicate a page as well so if you want to duplicate any of this page just right click and go to a duplicate so it's just going to give you exact copy of that page so you see that there's difference between the sizes the initial size i was using a5 and then the one i move here is what a4 you can preview this and see how this is going to look like remember to subscribe my channel for more videos like this more tutorials videos on programming and other digital skills.
like come your way again leave a comment at the comment section and let me know if you indeed subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye